My, I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. I used to love being comfortable. I used to love just being average. I used to love mediocrity. It was cool to me. With that, I always tried to convince myself, or I did convince myself every single day that what I was doing, I was winning. I was moving forward. When in reality, I wasn't. There were lessons to be learned in the situations of my immaturity going through those things, but my average actions, my level of, or love of mediocrity, my comfort level where I was just remaining the same, that seemed to be the thing to do. And so I convinced myself thoroughly that this is where I wanted to be and I was still growing. I was going to be better. Someone was just gonna come along and give me what I wanted. I was sadly mistaken. And if you, right now, listening to this, you are that person, let me tell you something, it sucks. It's not a place you wanna be. It's a place where I thought I wanted to be, where I thought I was gonna remain, until I decided to just be uncomfortable. Until I got to a place where I had to sit still in a dark place and evaluate and assess who I was currently and what I wanted to become. Some things I had to do, some sacrifices I had to make, the levels of average and mediocrity that I had to get rid of because it was so just comfortable to me. And so I had to do things that I was just like, ah, uh, I'm on the edge like debating. I'm kind of like Neo on the Matrix. You remember? Morpheus said, free your mind. Got to the edge of that building, boom, he was gone. Morpheus got to the edge, went through it, looked at it. Looked at it, he was like, praying that he would get to it. So then he did like this and he ran toward it. And as he jumped to the edge, it was like, I think I'm like Morpheus, but then again, I don't know who I actually am because I don't believe yet, I didn't believe yet, and I fell going straight down. Along the way down in my dark place is where I seen all the things that I need to get rid of, all the sacrifices I need to make, the commitments I need to make as far as me moving forward, the consistency I need to have moving forward, the self-discipline I needed to put upon myself, the pressure I needed to put on myself to be self-disciplined, to grow, to win. The things I had to do to make every single day count. It was in my dark space. It was when I jumped off the edge, finally, finally, out of, out of uncomfort, uncomfort, finally jumping out, jumping off the edge. And on the way down, you know what? I was just like Neo. Didn't fall flat on my face. Kind of went, oh. And kind of like paused at the end because I wasn't done yet. I wasn't done yet and neither are you. You're not done yet. What happened was on my way down, all the things I had to evaluate about myself, before I hit the ground, I say, you know what? I gotta stand up on my feet. Here's what I gotta do to move forward. And so the same for you. You wanna win? You gonna have to make some sacrifice, some commitment. You gonna have to have a self-discipline about yourself that's unmatched, unmatched by anybody else. You're gonna have to make every single day count. Even if you don't feel like it, you gotta get up, you gotta get out, you gotta put that work, that grind in every single day. I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if you don't want to. I don't care if this, if you're working out, this rep is too much or these reps are too much or this time is too much. I don't care if you hate your job. Look, take that job, leverage from it, leverage from it, put yourself in a better position moving forward. You don't have to be there forever. You don't have to remain who you once were, as I once was. You don't have to do that anymore. From this point on, you don't have to do that anymore. Take that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith. It's scary, I'm telling you. It's scary. It's scary, but at the end of it, ooh, it's like on the other side of fear. There's something brighter. The grass may be a little greener, but once you take care of the grass where you at, yeah, you can move forward to that grass on the other side where it might be a little greener because now you're prepared for it. You're ready to win forward. You're ready to fail forward because you've embraced it. You've embraced adversity. You've embraced all these things. And the culmination of it, guess what it does? It allows you and I 
to always win. It's Coach Rios here. I need you to get through. I need you to break through. I need you to win through. And ultimately, y'all already know it. Please do me a favor. Do me this huge favor and be consistent with it. Stay winning.